Hey guys, Zach here and welcome to Democracy 3. Now, I was not really planning to play this game, but as some of you may or may not know, I'm a high school teacher and I wanted to buy a game which I could bring into class and actually teach the kids something uh, ab about stuff. So I thought Democracy 3 would be a good choice to teach them a little bit about uh, running a country and politics and stuff like that. Now I know the simulation is not 100% perfect, but hey, they're high school kids. So so, since I bought the game, I thought, hey, why not let's make a little bit of a playthrough. Now, I'm not gonna say I am really good at this game. I tried playing a game earlier and I completely drove my country into the ground, but it was my first game ever. So, uh, maybe this time we'll do a little bit better. Now, I will just show you the options I've set up here and um, all of these are on. And I'm gonna randomize the start because I don't want the country to be too much like the country that I choose. I want it to be random and see what we have to deal with. I, I don't want to be able to expect anything and everything else is fine. So, uh, well, well, we'll just go ahead and start a new game. Now, if you don't know what this game is about, it is, uh, don't expect massively impressive graphics or anything like that. Uh, but um, it's, it's more of an infographic and it is about statistics, building systems, managing problems, enacting and cancelling policies and all of that. So uh, out of the countries we can choose from, we got the UK, France, Germany, United States, Canada and Australia over there. Now, uh, since I've randomized the start, it, it's not going to matter too much. But So I'm just going to go for the UK, uh, because why not? And here we go. Uh, I'm going to set the term length to three because I don't want this game to be... Uh, too long. I'm just gonna go for the first re-election. Term limit to... Well, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go and to the first election and go for that. All of this I'm gonna leave alone and for the party name I'm gonna put the gamer party because hey you know it would be cool if we uh, we got um, <laughs> a political party about uh, video games. Uh, opposition. Um, well I suppose it's the non-gamer party. I'm not very creative, uh, but that doesn't matter. Their name's not going to come up too much. So let's go ahead and start the game. Gerrymandering constituencies, inventing the internet, uh, loading the game, compiling misleading statistics, and here we go. Now, uh, let's see. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as Prime Minister. The lives of all 63 million citizens are now in your hands. And you will imagine, as you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in three years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our uh, party membership. Good luck. Alright, so let's see. We're starting with a terrible GDP. That's horrible. Health is average, education is average, poverty is average, crime is at an all-time high, and unemployment is terrible. Huh. Well, begin term office. Now, if you haven't seen the game before, this is the game, okay? Don't expect there to be a go to game button from here. This is uh, basically all the blue things are statistics. All the white things are policies that we can uh, cancel or we can implement new ones or adjust their funding. And the red ones, or if there are good ones, it's green, but the red ones are situations where, as you can see, vigilante mobs, we have to reduce it down to the green line to be able to stop it. So the basic goal is to get rid of the red things, get more green things, and make sure our uh, debt doesn't get too high because currently we, we do have a surplus. We're making 1.7 billion a quarter, which is not a lot because our debt is about 800 billion. Now, to do anything, we gotta do, we gotta use these uh, fist points over here, the political capital, which is provided by these people over here. If they, if these, any of these people don't like us, then they're gonna be, uh, well, not give us as many fist points. So, uh, let's have a look at what we're really dealing with here. The capitalists hate us because of all of that. The trade unionists hate us. The middle income could do with some, some boost there. Well, uh, and we gotta deal with this. So, for example, alcohol abuse is a problem. So, uh, community policing. Well, crime is at an all-time high. So, I think we should boost up as much as possible. Let's see. This is... That's good. I'm gonna... I, I Remember, I'm not a pro at this game. But 
Actually, how much? Raising... Oh, raising costs zero political capital. Just more money. Okay, we'll apply that. Uh, so we got community policing. Crime, crime. Where's... Uh, which one's a crime? Is this it? Intelligence services, organized crime. This is crime here, which is <laughs> pretty much maximum. So causes. Uh, equality, organized crime, alcohol abuse. Don't get confused about the red and green here. Red and green doesn't mean good or bad. It just means increasing or decreasing. So as you can see, organized crime is increasing crime, uh, which is terrible. And alcohol abuse is increasing crime. And the red ones are things which are lowering it. So police force, CCTV cameras, stuff like that. Uh, so crime is something that we should try and deal with. As you can see, the speed of these arrows is showing how much it's causing as well. So the vigilante mobs is almost completely caused by crime. Okay, so we got to drop our crime levels here. So the things which are lowering crime are education, police force, intelligence services, CCTV cameras, uh, all about at equal levels. So we could uh, try and boost, let's see, state schools, technology, and private schools boost education. Do we have state schools here? Private schools. This is state schools. Here's something. We can boost... Oh, it costs a lot of money to boost this. Let's see what we could change inside. Maybe we could boost the police force. That's a little cheaper. And it deals with crime, violent crime, uh, alcohol abuse. Even unemployment goes down because uh, we've got to hire more policemen. Okay, so I'm going to apply changes here. Okay, so we've boosted the police force, and keep in mind it doesn't implement straight away. It takes time to, to implement the change. So, let's see, what else could we do? CCTV cameras deals with crime and violent crime, but makes the liberals unhappy. Huh. What else we got here? We got handgun laws. Let's see. This is costing us very little money. Uh... Maybe we should ban... Should we ban... Oh, if we ban guns, the liberals won't really like us and the patriots will also start to hate us. But violent crime will go down and the parents will like us. Uh, the parents currently... Uh, I don't know if that's worth it. See, this is the difficult part. All of these people here, these are all different groups. We gotta keep as many of them happy so our popularity raises to at least above 50%. Well, what else we got going on here? Uncompetitive economy, which is being caused by corporation tax. Hmm. Corporation tax... It's making a lot of money. But it's got some problems with it as well. And what, what's this problem down here? Technology backwater. Caused by this? Creationism versus evolution, both systems taught. Uh, let's see. Actually doing this, although the making the religious people hate us would boost the liberals in about plus 20%, minus 20 it's about the same. Uh, raising is going to take 30, but that will help with the technology backwater situation. Uh, but we're going to have to do that another turn. But that's on the to-do list. We could boost our science funding, which up to particle accelerator. It costs a lot of money and it boosts our GDP, which is good. State employees, energy efficiency, technology, and reduces the technology backwater. But uh, can we afford it? I'm not sure. I don't want to go too much into debt. we got to do something that's going to make money. Tobacco tax makes uh, 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 increases poverty what's our poverty levels currently the poor are okay with us uh, poverty what's our poverty levels it's kind of okay what can we do to reduce poverty state schools state pensions state housing okay what we'll do is we'll boost tobacco tax oh we can't it requires 27 damn it well, we've got to prepare something. I, I want to boost tobacco and alcohol tax. Alcohol tax actually can go quite a lot. going to boost... Uh, it's going to increase our poverty and make the poor hate us. But reduce alcohol consumption. 
maybe we could boost this up somewhat to maybe around 60%. It'll make us more money. Quite a lot more money. And later on we'll start to boost... We'll use this money uh, to make the poor happy with us again. So actually let's just boost this up all the way... No, we'll make it 60%. We don't want it too high. Apply that. That will make us more money. And with that money we will start to do state health service and state schools which should do quite a few things let's see both of these deal with unemployment which will help with the poor and they'll help the poor like us again i think yes perfect so we got 12 points left let's have a look at things we could implement so these are all policies that we can actually implement or re-implement if we haven't done so already. Or if we've cancelled it. Rent control? See, these could all cost or make us uh, money. What should we do? Technology grants? This stuff's kind of expensive. Foreign investor tax breaks. Robotics research grants. The difficulty about this stuff is that it's it's kind of hard to see what actual effects it's going to have. It's hard to tell. A junk food tax can actually cost potential income. Uh, they don't they won't really like it though. Hybrid cars initiative. It's not going to change much. Small business grants. Welfare could deal with the, the poverty, and I'm pretty sure uh, poverty... Which one's the poverty? Wait, no. Poverty is a blue thing. It's uh, that's equality? Let me just have a look. That's the one. Poverty is currently... Is it affecting crime? It is affecting crime. And alcohol abuse. State housing could help deal with poverty. Oh, we can actually raise that right now. This is probably a good idea. So this will uh, make the capitalists hate us, but it'll reduce poverty and reduce homelessness. Is homelessness an issue? Uh, yes, it is. And it's kind of high. So basically, we're going to have to sacrifice some of these groups to not like us that much. Uh, capitalists really hate us. None of these is really, uh... Ooh, what can we do here? Corporations tax. Could we lower this? That's making us a lot of money. Uh... Okay, uh, I'm just... Maybe I can implement something else. Economy. Something that will... Foreign investor tax breaks. Taxes, public services, law and order. Transport. Welfare. Maybe something that will make the capitalists happy. What would they like? They wouldn't like any of this, would they? Tax shelters, that's what they would like. <laughs> okay, okay. We, we've only got enough political capital to do one more thing. So what should we do here? Currently the abortion law... No, we don't have to touch that. Uh, science funding, we could raise science funding. It'll help deal with that. Technology backwaters, is this? Yeah, okay. Let's boost science funding. Since we'll be making some money. So currently we're spending about 6 billion. Let's, uh... I don't want to go to too high. Let's get it up. We'll, we'll double it, about 12 billion there. That'll deal with the technology backwater and boost technology, energy efficiency, state employees and it will reduce unemployment a little bit but not by a lot. So we'll keep it about 12 billion there. Apply that. Okay good. With six political capital we can't really do that much. Uh, we might be able to lower a tax. What's income tax at? 41, that's kind of high. Now most of these take seven political capital to change if not nine. Okay, uh, we're going to have to do that for the first quarter and see how that plays out. So currently we're earning 1.7 billion, which is good, but hopefully that doesn't drop too much. And we'll see how things go in the next quarter.